Hey, what's up, guys? This is our Intel debate topic project, and our topic was who would win in a fight, the Emperor Scorpion or the Tarantula Hawk? Hi, I'm Madison Beller, and I will be defending the Pendinius Imperator, or more commonly known as the Emperor Scorpion. And my name is Daniel Paul, and I will be defending the Tarantula Hawk, or if you're a smarty pants, the Pepsis Grossa. Native to West Africa, specifically Nigeria, the Ivory Coast, Ghana, and the Congo, the Emperor Scorpion is the largest of scorpions. However, it is not the longest. Weighing in at 30 grams and measuring anywhere from 7 to 9 inches, making it one of the most remarkable species. A female scorpion will give birth to between 9 and 32 live offspring after a 7 to 9 month gestation period. For those first few months, the scorpions depend on their mom for food and protection. Their bodies are unable to withstand the attacks of predators, therefore they remain on their mother's abdomen until they are big enough to take care of themselves. Both male and female emperor scorpions reach sexual maturity at four years old. The emperor scorpion is a social species, often burrowing with 15 or more individuals. Due to their poor eyesight, the emperor scorpion uses its sensory hairs to hunt prey such as arachnids, mice, and small lizards. Surprisingly, the venom from an emperor scorpion is not lethal to humans. In fact, some molecules in their venom are undergoing research as there are beliefs that these molecules could have properties against malaria and other harmful bacteria for our health. Let me just go ahead and uh, start my two-minute timer. My destructive little devil is formerly known as the Pepsis formosa and is a very large species of spider wasp that resides from the southern part of North America to south, uh, northern South America. It exclusively preys on tarantula spiders, which is what gives it its unique name. It is related to the Hemipepsis, which is also a ruthless spider wasp, so it comes from a long line of kicking butt and taking names. This species only has the women hunt, so only they have the ability to, de to deliver the poisonous, paralyzing, crushing blow. Fun fact, their sting is considered to be the second most painful insect sting on the Schmidt Sting Pain Index, rating at a 4.0, which is only beaten by the bullet ant. They hunt during cooler times of the day while staying low to the ground and using their vision and scent to hunt. Once the enemy is found, they enter into their home, push them out, groom themselves for an easy battle, and go in for a paralyzing blow into the enemy's weak spot. Afterwards, she'll feed on the fluids of the wound or groom herself once more. Once the enemy is completely paralyzed, the wasp drags her defeated opponent back into their own home or digs a fresh one and then implants a single egg into the wound. Once the egg hatches, the baby finishes off the enemy by devouring their vital organs and weaving a cocoon to emerge as a new adult wasp. Gender of the defeated enemy dictates the gender of the newly hatched baby. Humans do feel immediate excruciating pain from their sting, but it is not toxic. Their defensive value of the sting is based purely on pain, and it is the state insect of New Mexico. Lastly, there are some insects that mimic this creature by look, which include the robber fly, the diptera, moths, arxidid, grasshoppers, and other hymenoptera. Your little hawk may have a powerful sting, but can it rip its victims to shreds with its mighty claws? I didn't think so. Though the emperor scorpion is fortunate enough, enough to have both of these capabilities, they would much rather tear their victim apart with their claws while saving their sting for larger prey and enemies. Emperor scorpions have sensory hairs that cover their pinchers and tails. They use these to feel for their prey through the vibrations in the air and on the ground. Let me just start my timer once more. It's one minute this time instead of two. <clears throat> my insect obviously does not have mighty claws, but it will not stop it from destroying your poor sighted infant that depends on its little mommy. In the tarantula hawk realm, mother is king. She has to be big, strong, and vicious. Males just sip nectar, chase away other males, and mate. The females eat nectar too, but kill for fun in order to try to produce hybrid females to become dominant. The females like big prey, which will bode well since your scorpion is big. 
My tarantula hawk will ensure that the job is taken care of in order to produce high enough food and size for her newly hatched young as they sprout from its abdomen and devour its carcass. So tell me again why you think a blind, stationary, big-targeted mommy's pet with nothing more than some pincers and a sting can affect my warrior wasp? The emperor scorpion burrows into the soil and can be found under rocks, logs, and other forest debris. Though your little wasp has the ability to fly, don't dismiss the fact that my emperor scorpion can hit you with that sneak attack. To put the cherry on top, by using their sensory hairs to detect nearby prey, these little boogers can get you after the sun falls. So, I hope you can sleep with one eye open, because they will catch you while you're sleeping. The emperor scorpion's only real predator is a human. Therefore, your tiny little wasp brings no fear to these eyes. Hmm. Another minute. <clears throat> I must say that you do, in fact, give a valid point in many cases, but not this one. The fact that your scorpion can burrow itself away to hide in fear is futile to the tarantula hawk. They are known for fighting tarantulas that make burrows themselves. In fact, I previously mentioned that after the wasp is done subduing its foe, she will actually drag it back into their own burrow before commencing the egg drop it into the paralyzed foe. Not only that, but a survey actually found that in 400 battles, only a single wasp has perished. Its exoskeleton is hard, and the wasp is sneaky and quick. It is large, in charge, fast, and having a blast while making haste by turning its enemies into waste. The Emperor Scorpion is a mighty little guy. The largest scorpion to walk this earth with large claws used to rip their prey apart and a sting that will knock you off your feet. Though humans may not feel much from a sting, the venom from an emperor scorpion may soon be a resource used to improve our health. As mighty as you think your little wasp may be, I would like to think that my larger, more powerful scorpion is still superior. So in this case, I think it is best that we agree to disagree. <laughs> One last minute. <laughs> In conclusion, it is clear to see who the real winner is. My wasp is world-renowned for its incredible, painful, and paralyzing sting. The women are large, powerful, and majestic creatures that are born to breed to fight. They are tactical, quick, and very spatially aware. They reproduce by injecting its defeated enemy with an egg and letting their young devour the corpse for its first meal. Overall, it is a force to be reckoned with and should be understood in order to know what not to cross paths with physically and that even though it's primarily foe is large tarantulas, it can still take care of other insects if need be.